Okay, so I recently did a photo shoot for a commercial client of mine where he wanted a number of his beds that he manufactures photographed for advertising purposes for use in marketing materials such as magazines, posters, adverts, that kind of thing. So this is one of those beds. They're very, very cool beds, very comfortable. They have a lot of features. As you can see, they have two sides which will go up and down kind of independently, but really, really good quality, high quality beds. But after we'd done the shoot, we realized that the walls looked quite bare and he did suggest possibly putting a picture frame on the wall in Photoshop just to add a bit of, you know, interest to the to the images. We ended up not doing it, but what I actually learned and what I actually wanted to teach other people was actually how to do this. So if you have a client that wants a picture frame put on a wall, for example, if this is a, there's a really good area where this could work. If you're doing portraits for somebody in their house, what I would suggest is, this is just a quick idea of where this would work. If you were doing portraits of a family and you were trying to upsell some large prints, framed prints, canvas prints, that sort of thing, what I suggest you do is take a quick photo of their living room while you're there and explain to them what you're doing, but just take a quick photo of their living room and then when you've actually got the photos done, you've done the shoot, you've done the portrait shoot, it's a brilliant idea to actually show one of those photos, one of the best photos in situ on their wall. It's gonna encourage them more to actually buy a large print from you. So it's quite a good selling technique. So if you imagine showing someone their own house, their own living room, with one of the portraits you've taken on their wall, they're more likely to actually purchase from you. So this is where this could be good, but it also could work for a commercial situation like this. So this is the before, I'll show you the after quickly. That's the after. Um, so we've just put a photo of Montreux on the wall just to add interest, but you can see there's a frame, we've matched the shadow to the wall and we've got a nice image in there as well. So the way we do this is actually, first of all, I picked a picture frame from a stock site. So all we need to do there is actually cut the frame out from the background. So I literally just use the paths tool, zoom right in and select all four corners of the frame. Hopefully it's all dead straight lines. You haven't got to be super accurate because it's going to be shrunk a fair bit for the site, uh, for the main image. We go to there and then we go up. Okay, so we've selected that and then we right click and then click make a selection for the picture, uh, for the radius of one pixel, click OK. Then I move to the selection tool, the move, the move tool, and then I literally just left click and drag to the photo I want to put it into and click, or oh, not a click, just let go there. Okay, so obviously in the, it's in the wrong position, that kind of thing. So I'm just going to quickly drag it round and I want to elongate it slightly. So I'm just going to drag it over. Oh. I have to hold down shift and drag and that will elongate it. But again, it doesn't match the, the kind of perspective of the rest of the photo at this point. So let's just drag it a little bit more and centralize it. So what I'm gonna do now is go to edit, transform and distort. Then I'm gonna pick the corner there and just drag it to match this. So if I press alt and the speech mark key, sorry, control and the speech mark key, it brings up the grid. So I can match it to the to the bed here. They're all going straight up. So I can do that one there. But I'm actually going to bring it in ever so slightly because there is a slight incline on the bed on this side and also down a bit because it's a converging line. So it's going to actually try and match this. Okay. So that's pretty close already. Let's do control and speech mark again to get rid of that. And that already looks okay. I may bring it down a little bit more actually. So if I do... Control T to bring up the the guides and then this one here to actually allow me to, uh, sorry, not that one, not that one. Do Control T and then go back to edit, transform, distort. I'm just gonna bring it down ever so slightly more and then see if that works. So that looks pretty good now. So we're, we're getting close. All we've got to do now is to actually add a photo inside the frame here. So again, I've got to select this to actually drop a picture in. So once again, I use the pass tool and go in as close as possible and select this area. Same as we did with the frame to each corner. To there. And then along. By the way, if you want to move the frame 
uh, move the, the image while you're actually working on it. So to get rid of the paths, you just press the space bar that turns it into the hand. So you can actually click and drag and move the image and then just finish off there. So space bar brings up the hand. You can left click and drag the image anywhere you want and then let go to continue with the path. Made the path there, so right click and uh, make a selection. Again, we're gonna do just one pixel. So we've got the selection there. We don't need to do anything else at the moment. Okay, so what we need to do is then find an image. So I'm gonna use my road trip to Montero picture. All you do here is use the selection tool and drag around the outside or just select Control A and you've selected the whole image and then you just cl uh, click Control C to copy that image. Then you go back to the actual image here and you go to edit, paste special and paste into. That will paste that photo into there. But if it's not perfect, that's actually done quite a good job. But if it's not perfect, if you press control T while still having that layer selected, then you can actually drag it about again. So I'm gonna to go to edit, transform, distort, and I'm just gonna make sure it reaches the edges like this. So if you put these edges in place, it should automatically do the, uh, then control, uh, sorry, space to move. Um, if you use the edges and bring these edges right down to the, to the port hit part here, it should actually make the perspective match the photo, match the frame. So let's bring that to there. And this one I think goes up a little bit more and then click the tick. And there you go, you've got the, the picture inside the frame now on the wall, but obviously it looks flush against the wall, so you want a bit of a shadow on there. So all you do is select the main layer for the actual frame itself. Then we go to layer, layer style, and we go to drop shadow, and it drops one in straight away. You might want to adjust it to kind of match the bed, so you want the distance to be a little bit less perhaps. We want the angle to be going downwards to match this at this shadow here. We want the size to be a little bit less, so it needs to be a bit sharper because of the lighting that's in the room, and then maybe change the spread. Let's change the size a little bit more, and the distance. Let's change the spread a bit. No, don't like that. Let's change the size to about there and move the distance in a bit to there, and we can perhaps change the shade down a little bit as well to match the wall. And let's leave it at about there, click OK, and there you go. So you've got the picture on the wall now with a, a print in it, but what I noticed when I'd actually done this, the color of the print was actually a bit bright, so you've got to imagine it might have a sheet of glass or plastic or perspex over it, which will actually dull the colors a little bit on there. So if I select just the photo, so select that part of the layer, and then go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness, Contrast, all I did was brought the uh, the contrast down a little bit and then the brightness down up a little bit sorry just bring the contrast down so you can see the before and after it's just taken the, the sheen off it click OK so there you go you've now got a picture frame on the wall uh, with a shadow and it seems to fit pretty well so again imagine if this was someone's bedroom and you'd taken a portrait of them or a photo of their location or one of their favorite photos put it on the wall to show them exactly what it looks like then the chances are they're going to make a purchase from you because you've shown them the photo in situ but it's a really simple way to do it um, and I hope that helps so give it a go yourself and just let me know in the comments how you got on